What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. My name is Charlie and today we're going to check out uh, the Sandstorm team before Steelix comes into the game. Uh, of course when Steelix comes into the game the Sandstorm team will be complete and will absolutely be a powerhouse. I don't care what anybody says. The, the team's going to do really really well. Uh, so, for what I'm going to do for the Sandstorm team, is I'm going to use Acerola, of course, for Sandstorm, uh, Cynthia and Garchomp uh, as our main attack uh, striker, and uh, the player with Torchic, because Torchic has, boom, X attack all, so we'll just use a, uh, that to power up Garchomp as much as we can. We're in the ultra hard uh, level up course right now, just to test it out. I just want to see how much... Uh, damage Garchomp and Mega Garchomp can do. So what we're going to do is we're just going to power up Garchomp. Uh, we're going to do X Defense on uh, uh, Acerola and uh, uh, Palisan. So that way uh, she can tank all the hits that are coming her way. And uh, th this match is too fun, uh, which raises the critical hit rate, and uh, oh, it sharply raises it when it, uh, it's in a sandstorm. So we'll go ahead and do a sandstorm right now, because we are getting pretty close. And we'll do Blazing Hope just to, uh, uh, why not? We'll do over here. We'll do X attack. We'll do this match is too much fun. Again, I just want to see powering up Garchomp as much as humanly possible. What can we do? What kind of damage output are we looking at? And since we're still in the Sandstorm, doing this match is too fun. Uh, does a lot more. It sharply raises. Uh, the user's speed and critical hit rate. So we're just raising the critical hit rate to its full max. I think we, we have maxed it out now. Alright. So... Hopefully that doesn't take out Palisand. Because if it takes out Palisand, we'll have to redo this. Okay, cool. Perfect. Oh no, it's frozen? What? Oh no. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do without Sandstorm. And then we'll switch to another level where... Dang, 1700, that's pretty good. Alright, so we'll do an Earthquake, and we'll see how much AoE damage that does. Boom. Not bad, not bad. And we'll do another Earthquake. Unfortunately, Palisand's frozen, so we'll have to jump into another level. Dang, he should... Even though it's not in a sandstorm, Mega Garchomp's doing a lot of damage with Earthquake. Boom, 16, yeah. It's up around 1700, it's not too bad. But around 1700 is critical hit rate maxed out, uh, attack uh, maxed out, if not close to maxed out. So we'll switch to another team where they won't freeze <laughs> Palisand, because that is not cool, man. It's not cool. I mean, it is... it's cold, but it's not cool. Let's see here, that one has ice types, so we'll stick away from you. Here we go. Uh, so who do you got? Okay. We'll see what we can do with this one. Alright. We'll jump back into it. Again, it's all about powering up Garchomp. Once Steelix is in, the tactics will change uh, as far as uh, Palisand will not be the number one on the chopping block. Palisand will actually be number two on the chopping block, and Steelix will be your tank uh, for this team. We'll just keep doing X attacks until they stop refreshing. 
Hey, we got another MP refresh for X defense. Good, good, good. All right, so no, it froze. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're, we'll back out and we'll do a different level where Palisand cannot freeze. This is ridiculous. Is every ultra hard level just you get you can get frozen? What's up with that? Uh, okay. Okay, doesn't look like you can get frozen in this level. No, you cannot get frozen. Thank God. Okay. Oh, thank God. We'll go ahead and uh, see what kind of damage we can do now. I was not expecting to get frozen in the last level. But, you know, you just got to plan to... Uh, you plan to adapt and overcome. Uh, that's the big lesson from this video. Uh, aside from seeing Garchomp do as much damage as humanly possible. And then X attack all with Torchic there. I've got this. X defense. See if we get an MP refresh there. Yes, we do. Thank God. I want to raise that def attack all the way up. Alright, we'll do over here, which also uh, raises the... <laughs> Do Blazing Hope. Uh, so over here does a uh, uh, it heals uh, Palace Sand a little bit as well, and we've got um, uh, Soothing Sand. So Palace Sand heals while she is in a sandstorm. Not my chance. All right, all right, all right. Leave it to me. Uh. That is not my real impression of Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. That's a little bit better. All right, all... Nah, I can't really do it right now. <laughs> uh, so we're doing this is too much fun in the sandstorm. Sandstorm. So that we can really get Garchomp's uh, critical hit rate and speed up as much as possible. All right, we'll do another sandstorm just to make sure we're there. And it's time to do the sync move. So we got sand screen there as well as another uh, uh, sync grid move for Garchomp and uh, Mega Garchomp. All right, here comes Mega Garchomp in the flesh. See how much damage we do with the sync move. Yeah, so right, yeah, 17, uh, 77, not bad. We'll go ahead and do Earthquake, and we'll get another Sandstorm going, because uh, I don't expect it to take too long to take these guys out. 2,000! 2,000 damage in a Sandstorm. Again, really not bad. Uh, let's see here. We'll go ahead and do one more Earthquake, and we'll see what we're doing damage-wise with that. This is it. Here it is, and... 3,000 damage, bro! 3,000 damage from Mega Garchomp. That's really, 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 really good. <laughs> Not too bad Mega Garchomp. Alright, guys. So, this is the team that I recommend for uh, a Sandstorm team before Steelix comes out. After Steelix comes out, uh, we're going to do a Oh my god, I can't wait to test that team out. It's going to look so insane. Uh, they're going to do so much damage. Because Steelix also buffs uh, the team's attack uh, with its sync grid. Uh, but yeah, guys, at the end of this video, I'll leave uh, uh, Steelix and uh, Garchomp's uh, sync grid videos that I did where I show you one out of five through five out of five doesn't matter how many copies you have I have a sync grid uh, built out for you uh, so that you can always max out uh, their sync grids no matter what how many dupes you have them no matter what sync level they're at uh, you'll be able to do as much damage as you can with them uh, so I'll leave those at the end of the video which are probably there right now 
<laughs> Alright guys, with that being said, uh, don't forget the like button, subscribe if you have not already for uh, uh, always being able to check out my daily Pokemon Masters content, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to get some sleep right now. Later. Later. <laughs>